Hello and welcome to another Let's Build video. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can build this particular layout on your own website, right? As you can see, it's a pretty popular layout that you can see on a lot of cool websites these days. Now, the goal here is to show you how you can build something similar to this on your own website, right? I'm not going to copy the entire thing because, well, first of all, it's not cool to copy someone else's work. I'm just going to use it for inspiration. And, you know, I want to I wanna show you guys how how to build something that you can use on your own website, right? Not just something that looks cool for me right now, right? So yeah, now I also like to uh, make a quick announcement. I want you guys to be uh, involved in the Let's Build videos, right? So I'll create a Google form and put it in the description of this video. And there, you know, you can send us any links of a cool layout that you see on the internet or maybe a screenshot or anything that we could build in these videos, right? And, you know, you can also leave your name, maybe your email address, only if you want to, so that we can give you a shout out. And yeah, I'll put the link in the description below. And even if you don't have any ideas right now, right, you can always save that as a bookmark. And whenever you see something cool, you'll be like, yes, I can send that to the guys at Thrive Themes and maybe they can build it, right? So go ahead and do that. But now we're gonna go back to our video and try to build this layout. As you can see, right off the bat, it's a pretty simple layout. And what I did is I, uh, I got into a blank landing page and I'm gonna use the content block element in Thrive Architect, right? I'm not gonna build it from scratch. Uh, instead, I'm gonna use this as sort of a foundation for my layout, okay? I'm gonna choose the resource uh, list option right here and the uh, template that I'm gonna use is this one. Stop reminding me. As you can see, it is pretty similar to the one that we're looking to build, right? So I'm gonna insert it into the content. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna reduce the width of this a bit, right? Because I wanna be able to see the margins of it, okay? So I'll leave it like this. So let's take another look at our layout, okay? So first of all, we're not gonna use these images. We're gonna use an icon because we have the uh, font awesome icon collection, which is great. Then below the icon, we're gonna have a divider. We also have a divider here already, which is great, right? We're gonna place it above the title. And then we have, you know, the title and some text again. And we're gonna remove this text here and we'll leave it like this. And also the button, we're gonna remove it. But for your own website, if you, if you need a button in, uh, in this layout, uh, you can leave it. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove these two content boxes. Hear me out. I'm gonna work on this one until I have the final structure. And then I simply duplicate it twice and you know move it into these two cells and you know make some finishing touches and we're all done, okay? So the first thing is to add the icon. Now, obviously it's not gonna look as cool as on the original layout, but we're gonna we're gonna make it look cool. Okay, so let's search for user. Okay, and we're looking for something with a plus. We'll use this one. We'll use the um, the light version, right? And uh, we'll make it let's say seventy five. Okay, and as you can see here, these have sort of. Uh, kind of a color, they all have this uh, this bluish, uh, purplish color, I don't, I don't, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna click on the icon, and I managed to create something similar and save it as a global color, um, maybe you'll do better than I did, and you know, here you can use the colors for your own website, right, you don't have to use this one, but make sure it's not something, you know, in your face color, it's sort of, pale, you know, it's it's nice to look at it, okay? And we'll leave it like this, and now let's work with the divider, okay? We'll go to layout and position, center align it, and then we'll go to minimum, and we'll set, let's say, a value 345, and I don't want it to be over 345, okay? So I'll, I'll leave it at that. And then basically what I have to do is here, let's replace this text with register. Did it say register? Yes, 
I have a very short memory. Um, okay, that's not true. Uh, quickly sign up, but here you can write your own text, you know. I'm just writing this to, to look cool. No credit card required. Okay, and these two, I can center align them both. Right, and I'll also apply the color that I placed on the icon for them. Okay, very simple. So go here, the global color, and apply it on this text as well. Okay, and now I can duplicate this, right? This is what I was talking about. Now I have the final structure done for it, and I can duplicate it twice. And I'll wait a second, I'll copy this one. There we go place it in the other column and copy this other one as well. Okay, and now let's go ahead and change the icons. So this is something, I don't know, layers maybe? Layer, okay, and I'm gonna choose the first one, the light one, okay, leave it like that. We'll, we'll worry about the text in a second. And the last one is about heart, heartbeat, heartbeat, yeah, there we go, heartbeat. Okay, there we go. We have the icons. They look very good because we can apply whatever color we want on them, right? And you don't have to complicate your life by using all sorts of images, right? You have the vast collection of uh, font awesome icons. You can use that with no problem whatsoever. So here it says build and here below, you know, big text, but... <sighs> I don't know, I'm not going to copy that because you're not going to use this exact text anyway, right? You're going to use your own text. So I'm just going to copy this part again. You know, there's a person repeating themselves. And here it says, go live, right? Go live. I want this to be, no, it's a single line. Very good. Okay. And just like that, you know, we have our final layout. As I told you, it doesn't look exactly like this one, but in my opinion, it looks very good, right? And, uh, you know, you can use whatever icons you want. I only used uh, some icons that were similar to the original uh, design, okay? So, yeah, you can use this on you know, any of the pages where you want to highlight either the options that your product offers or, you know, what what characteristics does your service have, you know, and a better idea than adding a button. Remember that in the beginning there was a button here. You can add a link either on maybe the uh, the icon, right, you can go to animation and action and create a hyperlink, right, you can also do that on the entire content box, so when the, if the visitor wants to find out more about your service, right, he can just go right there and find out more. Now, one last thing that we need to solve is the uh, height of these content boxes, okay? So in order to do that, all you have to do is come to layout and position, and here in the height section, click on minimum, so that, you know, they cannot be under a certain value, and, you know, now you can simply increase it, and just like that, they have the, the same height, you know? Very, uh, very easy to use feature, the layout and position. You have lots of uh, customization options. If you're not familiar with how exactly it works, we have a video on that as well. I'll put a link uh, on the screen right now and you can find out more. But basically, yeah, this is how you can build this layout. Now, don't forget to uh, go and check out the Google form and, you know, maybe save it as a bookmark, as I said. And whenever you have something cool in mind, let us know and uh, we'll try to do our best to build uh, the thing that you want to see. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed it. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be up to date with the, with the Let's Build videos because we're going to do a lot more of them from now on. And also to be up to date with all of the other cool videos that we post. So that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.